And hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host, Jonathan. Once again, bringing you my thoughts and movie review for the brand new Ana de Mamas. I probably butcher her name and I apologize. Um, Blonde, which is the story of Marilyn Monroe. This is on Netflix, so if you've never seen this movie, um, you know, buckle up because there's some stuff in here that I want to talk about because, you know, I watched this movie twice. I watched it when it first premiered and then I had to watch it again because this movie is very difficult to watch. Only because there's some stuff about Marilyn Monroe that I never knew. It's like, like her, her real name was Nor Norma James. I probably, probably way probably butchered that too. I apologize. It's been a while since I rewatched it again. Again, I, I watched it again. I think it was October. First, I think I did one of the, anyway that weekend, and we watched it again. Anyway, it tells the story of her and how she, you know, you know, she had a troubled childhood, and then she grew up to become um, singer, actress. You know how you know how Marilyn Monroe was, and the things that we got to see Marilyn Monroe do. First of all, you know, if you don't know the true story about Marilyn Monroe and why she was herself this movie really explains it a lot more deep because there was some stuff in here that i had no idea like that she had like her drug addiction which was like some was i guess maybe throughout i don't know how how straightforward this movie was but it felt like she did it to herself only because what she had to go through you know, with a lot of, you know, to get these roles and all these parts and sleeping with people. Because she was kind of basically forced to do all that stuff. You know, it wasn't really her. And then even having her husbands, you know, start to be a part of it. Making her that she has to be on the top of her game and, you know, do this and be this. You know, her from being with presidents, going around, you know, entertaining men everywhere. But also having to have that face that's like, oh, I love being here. But in the inside, she's screaming because she can't stand it. She can't stand the fact that she had to, I guess, belittle herself to do all that stuff to get to where she was in Hollywood at that point. And it's really hard to watch. I mean, I mean, there's some stuff in here is like, man, you had no idea what she went through. And, you know, when you watch it, it's like. I understand her now a lot more, you know, the poor girl, she, she has some demons. I mean, even her, when her, when her mother, when you hear the backstory about her mother having some problems as well, and that kind of carried into Marilyn's life as well, it's just, it was, just, it's just a tragic story. It's just a very tragic story. I mean, I think everybody did a really good job of portraying the people in Marilyn Monroe's life from her husband's to the actress who plays Marilyn, which she looked an incredible playing Marilyn Monroe. You know, Marilyn Monroe was a very beautiful, beautiful woman, you know, in that day. And, you know, but in the inside, I think she, in my opinion, I think she kind of felt like she was ugly in a way because she had to do some things that she wasn't proud of. You know, I'm pretty sure she thought that in her head. And when you watch this film, you get that sense of it. You know, you get to see Marilyn go through these transitions from... Yeah, she's on top of the world, but does that have that price? She has that. She has to pay that price to stay on top because any minute, if she ever refused anything to, like, even if it's a small role for some some little movie or whatever it is, it's all gone. And then what she has left? Yeah, she has her looks, but you know, all those producers and all those people who who saw her in these movies, who made her into those put into who she was. They always like say like threaten her in the movie, like saying, "Hey, Lisa, so we could take that away from you, just like that, and you you won't be you won't be you, you just be you you won't be anything." And she kind of like felt like she needed to be the glamour one, the one the one that has to be in all the covers and all the magazines. She had to make that that I guess hard choice to do all that stuff. So it's a very riveting film, and um, it's an ends. I don't get the N17, the N, what do you call it, N17, the non-rated version of it. And it wasn't so much, that much graphic in it, but, you know, you could have got away with it with a rated R symbol on it, but, you know, whatever. But, yeah, just knowing about Marilyn Monroe's tragic tragedy and how, what actually made her become what she was, 
it's hard because, you know, when you first hear about Marilyn Monroe, you're like, oh, she was a very glamorous, beautiful woman. She was hot. She was Hollywood royalty. But when you open that closet behind the curtain, you're like, wow, there's some skeletons in here that's like you don't like you don't know. Like we don't know as us, you know, people who don't know about Hollywood what certain actors or even act you know actresses and actors have to go through to get certain roles a lot of these actors like you know with the whole harvey weinstein stuff it, it kind of goes back to kind of like things like that where women you know are segregated to just do things that they don't want to do but to keep their careers going they have no they they have they feel like they have to do it i mean they don't have to but still they they want to get into hollywood and they can't do it without these, you know, supposed, you know, producers who promise them these things, but they they have to have sexual favors to to be able to do it. It's so wrong. It's so wrong because a lot of these actresses, you know, they could do they they can make it if they do it the right, you know, the you know a better way than what they have presented to them. Now it's starting to get hopefully get better now in Hollywood, but back then. Yeah, I, I'm pretty, you know, I'm, you know, when I was watching this, it kind of reminded me, like, did, I wonder if Sharon Tate did any of this stuff. If you remember Sharon Tate, she was, she was basically Margot Robbie back then and Marilyn Monroe back then. And she got murdered. Obviously, we don't know what happened to her. She got murdered. But I wonder if she had to go through that, too. We We don't know. You know, who knows? I mean, I don't know. But, you know, back then, Hollywood was very... How can I put that? Um, non witnessy when it comes to things like that because you know they will see things that people are doing that's wrong and they just swoop it under the rug. It's like, yeah, don't worry about it. Let, let these producers do what they have to do to get these so called faces as the stars of the movies or whatever. And poor Marilyn had to go through that and she got to that point where it went to her head, I think, and then it was too late for her to back out because. She was already at the top of the mountain, so there was like no point of her saying no or doing this and that. She probably could have. I think she could have done it. I'm pretty sure there was a couple of times maybe she wanted to, but remember, she was already at that peak of her her career. And even in her singing career as well, same thing. She probably had to do some, some vicious things that she never wanted to do and just to get to stay on the top, and she had to do it because... If that fame went away back then, I'm pretty sure a lot of women, you know, wouldn't know what to do. Because remember, back then, women were not exactly treated equally to men, especially in Hollywood. So, I mean, look, if you, like I said, if you're very interested in seeing the Marilyn Monroe bio, this is the one. Because honestly, there's some stuff in here that I'm like, and I'm probably missing some stuff in here that I, I forgot to talk about, but... I have to watch it again because honestly, it, it it is a very difficult film to watch. I mean, I'm not I'm not enjoying watching what goes through her, but I am just fascinated to see why it happened to her, and hopefully, maybe one day Hollywood will realize that yeah, this stuff does not fly anymore. That like, women should be treated equally, regardless, you know. But um, yeah, we lost Marilyn Monroe. Too young when she was, she was still, I think, I think she was in her 30s, 20s when she passed. I'm not really sure. I I can't remember if this movie said 30s. Or, I think it was 30s. I'm not really, I'm really not sure. But it is a fascinating tale. It's a very tragic tale. Uh, Marilyn Monroe was one of a kind, obviously. And we all, everybody misses her in Hollywood. I mean, you can go back and watch her movies too. But, you know, back in those days, you know. It was tough Hollywood, I guess, but um, yeah, at least, you know, when you watch this film, you know what went through with her, but um, yeah. So yeah, leave me, comment, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about this film. Have you guys even seen this? Do you think uh, Anna Damas, I probably butchered it again, I apologize. Do you think she deserves an Oscar opportunity, a nomination? I think she does. I think she portrayed Marilyn very, very well. You can feel the emotion the, you know, the way she acted, you know, the good stuff, the bad stuff she had to go through. She really presented herself as what meant we would, just like us actually watching Marilyn Monroe go through that. So she really transitions herself into Marilyn. And, you know, 
I could appreciate that because I think her acting was very good in this film. And she's very good as an actress. I think she's going to get better as she gets more roles. But yeah, I think this is the, the stepping stone for her to get into more of those those like powerful you know scenes and movies. But um, who knows? Maybe she'll get nominated. Maybe she doesn't. But this is a good step for her. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about this. Are you guys interested in this biopic of Marilyn Monroe? Do you guys even know the real story behind it? Do you think this gives you kind of a more of an insight about, oh, now I understand more about Marilyn Monroe, what she actually had to go through, all the, the terrible things she had to do to stay on top? Do you, do you think she, um, you know, she rightfully did that? Or do you think she was misjudged and like, yeah, she shouldn't have that, not have done that for her career? I personally think she never needed to do any of that stuff. She couldn't have made it on her own, but we, we'll never know, you know. But um, Hollywood, like I said back then, was just very, very different, I guess. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought. Stay tuned for more. Thank you very much, and have a good day.